Good evening everyone. Right now I'm on Edsa, corner of Aurora Boulevard and you'll see the MMBA guys now from Flood Control looking down to see how it's looking. And right now it's not too bad, but earlier it was a little bit flooded. What you might have noticed is these yellow buildings along Edsa. These are pump stations and they're manually operated so these guys have to be on the ball, they have to know what they're doing. And basically it's actually quite simple. When this area down here floods, they turn on the pump the water gets sucked up here and then it runs down that way and it runs down that way where they don't have any problem with flooding. Sorry about the noise but the buses love to beat their horns even if there's a sign saying no beeping of horn. Uh, but yeah we'll wait for it to rain maybe in the next hour or two. So if you come inside the pump station right now it's very noisy and very warm. They're running the pumps. Uh, this is actually another day it's around 6 a.m. right now. Very heavy rain on and off. So if you look down here, it's not too bad. It was much worse earlier before they turned the pump on. I'll try and get more footage of that later. If you look over here, you can see how much they're pumping up. It's an incredible amount just to stop that underpass from flooding. And of course, you'll see the MMDA enforcers are still here. Rain or shine, they have to be here. They have to be doing their job. I'm using my waterproof case, my DIY case for my camera. So I'm not exactly sure how well the audio is going to come, how well the video is going to come but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Over here is one of the flood control guys checking to make sure everything's operated as expected. They are required to be here 24 seven. And they must always be here to make sure it doesn't flood. If it does flood, they have to minimize the impact on motorists, make sure people can still get where they're going. Because if the country can't move, it's a major, major loss. The amount of money that you can lose in a single day by people not being able to get to their job, not being able to get to their business meetings and things like that, it's incredible. So the way I understand it is the water goes down the regular sewer there and on the other side. And in the center island they have a pump that goes down into that sewer and then pulls it up and dumps it out here. There is no magic pill, the water has to go somewhere. So what they're trying to do is distribute it. So since this is a wide open area in all directions, they want to bring it up here and let it distribute. Because if it all sits down there, the sewer fills up and then the whole area floods and that's Edsa closed, or at least parts of Edsa. So that's the way it works. So I just took the camera out of the water route bag now to make sure it's okay and it's completely dry. This was a DIY project. This is a cell phone pouch made for protecting your phone in the rain. And then the other parts of this is actually from a hot, cold compress bag. And then this is a 58 mil UV filter. So it is DIY, but it works perfectly. I consider this for light to medium rains. And then I made another one, this one over here, which is for heavy rain. Or if I'm covering a fire or something like that, where I'm worried that my camera might get damaged. This one's a lot tougher. The audio is not as good when I use this one, but it offers a lot of protection. I can actually use this underwater. Uh, not recommended to go swimming, but if I really had to, it can survive. It does keep water out. And there you go, shutting down the pumps now. They, uh, they don't need it anymore. There's not much rain. And they actually have a record book here. Every time they turn the pump on or off, they make a note and uh, that data can be used later. I guess in an ideal world, it would be put directly into a computer for a statistical analysis. So here you can see a sample of the data. It has the name of whoever operated the pump, the date, the time, the reason. Very interesting, very useful data. And look, it goes back so, so far. And now the rain has stopped, the enforcers can also come in, take off their raincoats and go back to regular uniform. Another interesting thing is they appear to be collecting rainwater. You can see it's got some pipe here and it is attached to the guttering of the MRT. So all the rainwater comes down and then goes into those two big barrels. And perhaps they're using that for watering the plants. I'm not sure. Maybe that's something we can make a video about in the future. When there's not enough water, when there's drought, collecting rainwater like this can be very beneficial. So that's interesting to see. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a very short one. I just wanted to give you a rough idea of what's going on to try and control the floods to keep people moving and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.